Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Zombo Trick. My name's Nez. And today's video is rather cool because we're going to be looking at the brand new BMW Z4 concept. Now, this car has just been revealed a couple of hours ago, ready for this week's Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance. Hope I said that right. But anyways, yeah, first and foremost, this car keeps the Z4 name. I know there's been rumours that this car's going to be called the BMW Z5, but let's get that first out of the way, that this car is going to be called a Z4, which is good. So, as I'm sure you can tell, this is just a concept, and the real production version will be finalised within the next 12 months. But however, my initial thoughts of this concept is that it's absolutely stunning. It keeps everything I love about my current E89 Z4, like the long bonnet, short rear overhang, low slung bonnet, wide body shape, and the wrap round tail lights. My highlight design features of this new car is the mesh inserts for the double kidney front grille and those new four eyed headlight design with the LED tubes which overlap as you can tell, one above the other. The front is so aggressive with those large front air intakes and I love the motorsport inspired carbon fiber inserts at the center of the front bumper. So this car is in a paint called frozen orange, which is like a satin or matte paint finish. So um, it looks really, really good. It really, really accentuates the lines. The car also comes with these beautiful 20 inch bicolor double spoke alloys. I mean, my car's got the 19 inch M Sport wheels, but 20 inch, wow, big boy stuff, love it. Moving on to the rear, at the back we have these new L-shaped LED tail lights, similar to those on the 8 series concept. The rear also features carbon fiber on the rear diffuser and has the dual trapeziode tailpipes. I mean, we've got carbon fiber on a Z4, this is epic i mean we're going up in terms of quality and you know carbon fiber is a is a material obviously reserved for supercars and those uber exclusive cars so to be they're now trickling down to these fantastic sports cars so it's um it's awesome so unlike my current z4 this z4 concept features these dome like pillars or overhead protection behind the seats which gives it more of a speedster Feel, but I don't know if that will be the same for the production version. Step inside the cabin and immediately you see this fantastic full digital instrument cluster display which sits behind the squared off steering wheel design. I'm so happy to see that they've kept the proper thick steering wheel which I love on my current E89 Z4 but we will see what the final production version will look like. The cabin also has a new wide and angular main display as you can tell on the instrument cluster and also on the on the side where the sat nav goes so that's going to be quite interesting to see how they interact together whether it's going to be a uh, one big screen where you can you know alternate or change over your displays and have some of the displays on the main nav system and you, you can just have the rev counter and all that jazz so it's going to be quite interesting to see how they lay that out but it's fantastic to see all this new tech coming into the z4 bmw haven't revealed any engine or technical details about the concept but we know that this car will ride on a platform developed together with toyota on their spiritual successor to the toyota supra so it's going to be quite exciting because obviously it's overlapping i'm assuming bmw will offer turbocharged four cylinder and six cylinder engines but we will see an M version. I don't know. Our fingers crossed we will. It'll be good to see a proper Z4M, you know, back to the old E85 uh, Z4M. But fingers crossed BMW produce a Z4M for this new version. My only bugbear about this concept and my initial thoughts is gone is the hardtop. We won't have the hardtop anymore. That's it. So the 89 is the first and last to have a proper hardtop and I find that rather sad because I've really, really gone to love the hardtop roof. I think it's fantastic in the winter for that refinement, solidity and safety. You can have a proper conversation, you have no wind noise, it's just fantastic inside. Yes, it's heavy, yes, it's bad for handling and also bad for boot space, but I have come to love the hardtop roof and I also think with the hardtop on, with the roof on and you have the car parked up, it looks absolutely sensational. So the fact that it's gone and it's now a soft top, I mean, 
yeah, you win some, you lose some. I'm excited nonetheless to see what it's going to look like with the roof up. I mean, the car's already stunning as it is now, so it's going to be fantastic to see what it looks like with the soft top on. Earlier on today, I'll put some pictures on Instagram and Facebook to gather your guys' thoughts and reactions to this new Z4 concept. So now I'm just going to read out a few comments to see what you guys thought, because it's, uh, it's had some mixed reactions. So first up, the first comment was, I don't like the back. Now... I personally love the back. I think it's really, really aggressive. I love the the rear low bumper, and I love how the rear tire lights sort of wrap round, and that's fantastic. Uh, but immediately, someone said they don't like the rear tail lights. Moving on, someone said take my money, which is great. I absolutely agree. Hmm, awesome back view, but I'm struggling with the front. I personally love the front. I think it's really, really aggressive. I love the twin. Uh, kidney grills, the, those famous kidney grills, and the, the new headlights, I think, are fantastic. And I love the whole lower front apron. I think that's really, really aggressive and brilliant. But someone said they're struggling with the front view, which is uh, which is fair enough. Uh, next up, awesome, do they accept Visa or MasterCard? That's great. Uh, next up, we have the back is pretty cool. It's different, but I hate the front lights. The ruin the sleek design we have on the E89 and make it look like a Benz Coupe lights copy. Not a fan. So this guy is, uh, yeah, he is not sure on that. Next up we have, I'm not going to read out the names of these guys just in case they don't want to be read out on uh, on camera. But next up we have, hmm, it's very different. My Z4 is beautiful enough. The new one is a combination between Toyota and BMW, correct? And why Z4? That this car is the new Z5 or I'm not sure. So this guy's a bit unsure. Next up, low. BMW always have nice concepts that don't make production. Fingers crossed that the Z4 concept, some of these design cues make it into the final production car. I love the front, the rear. I'm sure the interior does look a bit too concepty. So I'm, uh, I'm expecting to a little bit of a downgrade, a little bit of a more realistic than that futuristic look. But excited to see what the result is. Next up. We have this guy's comment. The front looks Z8 like, which I agree. And the back lights a little bit AMG GT like, which I 100% agree. I just hope the inline six turbo will stay. This will this would be a knockout criteria for me. 100% agree. Next person absolutely loved it. Uh, next person asked what asked me, am I going to buy this car? Who knows? Um, I love it. Well, we'll certainly see what what engines they have and the price there, uh, the price list. But so far, it's looking good. So um, yeah, wait, can't wait for more details. And fingers crossed, please BMW, can I please be invited to the press launch? That would be incredible. To actually, as a Z4 owner, someone's had a Z4 for almost uh, a year and a half to be invited to the actual press launch would be amazing. So please, someone at BMW, invite me, please. Thank you. So I think it has grown on me for now. Love E89 looks above this. It's definitely splitting opinions. Next up, I'm interested to see the final production model and also what it looks like with the roof up as I was never a fan of soft tops cars. I 100% agree. As I said that in my earlier point, the hard top for me on a E89 is brilliant. It makes the car look so aggressive and it's got that great curb appeal and it looks good with the roof up and down. So, um, yeah, and it's always nice, especially if you pull up to some traffic lights and with a hard top, people don't know cars, and you suddenly see a hard top going down to convertible. It's, uh, it's really, really cool. So, uh, so this person, I'm interested to see the final production model and also see what it looks like with the roof up, as I was never a fan of soft top, soft top cars, hence the 89, and also what the Supra will look like, as that is presumably a hard top, 100%. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the Supra is going to look like, and do you know what? Some people may actually buy or move to the Supra since obviously if they're sharing a platform, maybe BMW might lose some customers if the Supra is a better car. Or reversely, if people don't like the Supra, people might jump into the Z4. So it will work both ways. Next person said, I want to hear horsepowers. BMW haven't announced any technical or engine facts or figures so we're waiting to hear on that so yeah that's going to be quite interesting i'm assuming like the new box during came in uh, obviously they're now four cylinders so bmw are gonna have to try and compete with that that will be the main rival and also the mercedes slk and the new jaguar there's a four cylinder jaguar as well so i'm assuming bmw will also be targeting that same audience so it's going to be interesting to see the engine versions um, goodness knows if they imagine if they put a V8 in this car, that would be insane. But I don't think that would be 
possible they probably will put a six cylinder or if they do make an M version hopefully they'll put like an M2 uh, six in their uh, six cylinder engine in there so that'll be quite quite interesting next person slick I hope it gets a great drivetrain fingers crossed it does uh, the next comment I thought the Z4 Monica was being retired and replaced with the Z5 that was the rumor anyway I like it it will be a it will be tweaked by the time it comes to production. When the Z4 replaces the Z3, everyone hated it. Ask them if they still hate the Z4. That is true. Obviously, before the Z4, there was a Z3, which there's a fast back Z3 and a normal soft top Z3. And then they moved to the Z4. And now, yeah, people are wondering if it's going to be a Z5. But yeah, BMW have kept the Z4 name. Uh, next person, I like it. And finally, inline six turbo has been confirmed, I believe. So this person seems to believe the inline six turbo has been confirmed. So those were the Instagram comments so far. Now that post has been up for 11 hours. Now let's quickly check out Facebook, see what's on the Facebook followers. If you guys, if you're not following me on Facebook, it's at Zimba Motoring. The second pick on left side looks like a Merc AMG GT convertible. I agree. Some of the rear shots, especially low down, you see the rear, rear bumper. It does, it's got that AMG GTC, uh, look as well so this person also said inline four or six for sure but i would not be surprised if there will be a low-end model with only six, three cylinder engines and i think that this time there will also be an m version with limited slip diff someday hopefully fingers crossed i absolutely agree uh, fingers crossed bmw will make an m version that will be sensational their previous m versions of the z3 and z4 have been amazing i mean the z4 m coupe is slowly creeping up in value so so far it's been very very popular guys yeah so that is the post I put up on Facebook if you can see that yeah overall it's a fantastic looking car they've kept everything we love about the Z4 low long bonnet wide yeah so guys hope you enjoyed that video this is my initial reaction to the z4 concept let me know what you think about the z4 concept if you hadn't had a chance to comment on my instagram and facebook let me know in the comment section below what you guys think if you like if you don't like it any speculations about the m version you're most looking forward to the car what you don't like about the car so let me know your thoughts in the description below guys thanks for watching make sure you follow me on instagram facebook and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.